You ain't gonna hit me again, are you? Now he ought to know better than that. <laughs> I think this belongs to you, Meathead. 420 miles an hour, Mr. Chalmers. Wow, it climbs like a rocket. That's what we call her, the rocket. She'll do 11,000 feet in three and a half minutes, straight up. She'll make every other ship in the world obsolete the minute she sticks her nose in the sky. But uh, aren't the uh, wings a little flat for climbing? That's what it's all about. But that's the whole business right in there. <laughs> Variable camber. Oh, look at you, you pretty, pretty thing. You haven't changed a tiny bit. <laughs> Love that girl. But she wasn't really the same at all. Look at me, oh, look at me. I'm as lovely as can be. I'm as pretty as a picture, too. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. And ordinary people did get bored. Oh, how nice that you can see. Lovely, gorgeous little me. I should charge admission, though. I'm so cute from head to toe. And they did fall asleep. Oh, my goodness, the Wicked Witch did it. I'm a bore, a dreadful, crashing, sleep-making bore. And I can't do anything about it. We should have the entire village of Shalpur at the feet of Sabaka. And we will bring them all in fear to grovel in the dirt and bring us their rupees to make us rich. Carry him into the jungle. And leave him there, tied as he is. Saber Excuse me, sir. Coming through, sir. One thousand on number seven. That gravel pit, sir. Yes, sir, Colonel. Here you are, Colonel. Did you hear that? I sure did. He bet a thousand on gravel pit. That's right, son. One thousand on gravel pit. I can't lose. Say, what a real tip, son. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Don't bet on the races! That's a joke, son! <laughs> Stick up and be quick about it. This is a job for comedy man. <laughs> Look, up on the stage, it's a burl! It's a Cosby! No, it's comedy man! <laughs> Man, the superhuman crime fighter, the good humor man of justice. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> my wife lost 10 pounds. She washed her ears. Ah! <laughs> hey, buddy, <laughs> you've heard of nose drops? Well, hers did. Ah! <laughs> Hey, hey, <laughs> want to hear the Don Amici song? <laughs> I'll be Don Amici in a taxi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, oh. <laughs> well, they used to call my wife soft drink because she'd go out with anyone from seven up. <laughs> Now comes my hotsy totsy work on Trotsky plane. Over here we got dish of macadamia nuts. Very salty. Now, moose eats nuts. Moose gets thirsty. Moose goes to kitchen, drinks 50 glasses water, gets bellyache. Squirrel phones drugstore for bellyache pills. Delivery boy races up driveway on motor scooter with pills. But he rolls over tech, put there by yours truly, and gets flat. While boy changes tire, I change pills to make a Damien nuts. Moose eats more thinking they are pills. And get such big belly a kid needs doctor. I come in dressed as sturgeon and operate immediately. Now comes best part. Moose does not pull through. Oh, Boris, darling, you got the best twisted mind in the whole world. <laughs> I do the best I can with the tools I got. Running up. Dr. Carrington, you were right. The lock's been forced and bent back into position again. The key's gone. Someone has entered and gone and locked the door from the... From the outside.
outside. Look. See how it glistens in the light? It's a smear of blood sap. From the wounded arm? You don't suppose. Open it, please. Everything falls right into line. indoctrination session, you're here for one purpose, to work. Yes, ma'am. Ricardo, I'm going to put you to work chocolate dipping. You say you've had experience. Oh, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I'm a dipper from way back. <laughs> yes? They used to call me the Big Dipper. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room in this plant for levity, however weak. Yes, ma'am. All right, Ricardo, that's your place. Yes, Mertz? I'm going to put you to work down in the chocolate boxing department. Follow me. <laughs> now, one day, the king decided to tell his daughter, Irene, the facts of life. And remember, the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Have you ever seen a goblin? No, but... Uh... Well, how do you know there are such things? Is that a goblin? Of course not. Is that a goblin? No. Is that a goblin? Why, yes, I believe it is. It is a goblin, a goblin. And the princess ran for her life with a goblin close behind her. I told you they'd get you. But I don't want to be got. Help, help. The king summoned his knights, but their swords made no impression on the goblins at all. Things looked bad for the princess until she stumbled across a young miner named Curdy. And he was so struck by the princess' beauty that he was moved to poetry. Oh, Princess Fair, your golden hair, upon your head, I see it there. And, of course, that stopped the goblin in his tracks, for he just couldn't stand poetry. You saved me with your poem. Are you a handsome prince in disguise? No, I'm just a handsome minor boy, brave, courageous. Couldn't you go somewhere and learn to be a prince? Like where? How about Princeton? Isn't that awful? Now, try this new way to accent your figure. Cross your heart, see? You're suddenly shapelier. Well, that's what this new Playtex Fashion Magic Cotton Bra does. It crosses your heart with stretch to lift and separate. You're suddenly shapelier. This cross your heart shaping is only on Playtex regular Fashion Magic Bras and new long line styles. Cross your heart. You'll be shapelier, honestly. And here's... Thank you. 